Hello viewers, this is a typical, I believe it's a 90 millimeter uh, computer case fan and I'm making this video to show you how to oil one of these things. If you have a computer, you probably have several of these and at one point or another the bearings finally wear out and they become loud, rattly and just plain old annoying and they also don't work very well. So. Uh, instead of buying a new fan, there's a relatively easy solution to that, and that's just to put some oil in the bearings. Now, right off the bat, you're going to be looking at this saying, well, how am I supposed to put oil in it? There's no oil holes, blah, 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 whoops. Well, there is, in fact, an oil port on these fans. You just have to uncover it. Now, it's very easily done. Um, on this one, it's relatively easy to peel the sticker off because of the way the design is but you have to start by peeling off the sticker about halfway. Now, once you get the sticker off, you will reveal this little uh, rubber piece right here under the fan. This lighting is awful. Um, here's that little rubber piece. Now, underneath that rubber piece is in fact an oil port. So, Let's begin by removing that little plastic piece. Uh, let me get a, something to undo that with. That's probably the most difficult part is getting that off. Uh, I'm going to use, let's see here. I'm going to use a thin knife here to, to try this off. And uh, you don't want to break this because it, it does keep the dust out of the bearing. Um, but you do have to do this kind of, you got to be kind of rough with it. Just put it in the side here and pry it out. Of course, it's much easier said than done. Um, okay, there it goes. And now, now that that's off, you can see there was at some point some oil in here. Of course, most of it's dried up. Now we have the bearing, and all you do is take um, a thin oil, very, very thin oil. Uh, see, this spout will work. This here, this stuff will work. Um, I would do something lighter than this if you have it, but if you don't, this is acceptable. So you just take it, put a few drops in there, and uh, then you take this rubber thing here and. Stick this back on. That didn't go on very well. Um, and it's just put it. Make sure you put it back on evenly. Don't um, don't force it in further than it's meant to go. Um, just make it so that it's you know flush with the plastic, and then. You don't have to, but I like to keep the stickers on there just to know what the specs are and everything. You put the sticker back on, and you're good to go.